Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get a Subaru Justy key replacement in case you lost all your keys or just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over key replacement cost, types of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Before we start, we would really appreciate if you can like this video and of course if you need any help you can contact us 24-7 and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Subaru Justy is one type of key, uh, which is a non-transponder key, just a simple metal key without any security features. Between 1991 and 94, we have a non-transponder key with part number X123 or DA. 25. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year making model of your car or the VIN number and the type of key you had. For example 1994 Subaru Justy non-transponder key and don't forget to mention in case you had a different key for the doors and the ignition. Now let's go over uh, Subaru Justy key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies, depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key or change the ignition on site. And third, tow the car to the shop. Here is a rough estimate. How much should it cost to get a replacement non-transponder key? when no codes are available. A locksmith should charge you between 50 to 200, the dealer between 120 and 270, and the mechanic between 80 to 230. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it. Don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. Now, regardless of uh, which type of key you add, let's make sure you ask the dealer or locksmith for your key code, which can save you between $50 to $100 in case you need a new key in the future. Let me explain. In order to cut your new replacement key, the dealer or locksmith need to get a key code, which tells them the right cuts of your key to match the doors and ignition cylinders. This key code, of course, is unique to each car, and the dealer or locksmith have to pay about $50 to $100 to obtain it from the database. Now, since they already cut your replacement key, it means you already paid them for this key code, so it's yours to keep. Problem is, most people aren't aware of that. Bottom line, in case you lose your key again in the future, you can save money by providing the locksmith or dealer your key code. They should give you a discount on the total price, and the process should be much faster. The key code is usually a combination of letters and numbers. For more great tips, you can visit our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it! I hope you liked this video and would really appreciate if you can give us um, the thumbs up and thanks a lot for watching.